don't don't expect this like oh let's beat each other up and entertain everybody expect a one-sided will brooks smashing whoever's in front of them type of deal i'm more of an athlete before i'm a fighter and some people don't understand that my whole life i've been a wrestler i've been a football player and that's how I've been trying to operate, you know, just being an athletic guy, being fast, being agile, being powerful, explosive. You put so much work in, you just want to go fight. You want to go see, you want to go see what you've changed and the things that you've changed are they going to work. So I'm just ready to go test some new things out. I've been at American Top Team for about a year and a half now. Just one day of training here, I was like, man, I, I'm never going back to my old gym, you know, I, I just, it was, it was amazing being able to be in a room full of so many high-level guys. I ended up signing with Monty Cox, and two weeks after signing with him, he got me a fight in, uh, in Japan against Kitaoki, you know, and I finished him in the second round, and when I came back, I had so much hype behind my name, and people were talking so much about me, and um, I was a little overwhelmed, and I, I think the one thing that I did was I let it get to my head a little bit. When I first fought, a wad. I didn't spar, I didn't roll jujitsu, I didn't wrestle. I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna show up, I'm just gonna be in shape. I was doing uh, strength and conditioning and that's all I did. And I was just like, you know, I'm just gonna go in there, I'm just gonna be myself and I'm just gonna, like, I'm gonna blow this dude out the water. Unfortunately, the, my timing wasn't there, my focus wasn't there, and I lost. The second time around, I knew I was ready. I knew I put the work in. I knew that going into the second fight, I was gonna make it exactly what I should have did the first time, you know? I, I really wanted to finish him. I wanted to go out there, I wanted to dominate him for three rounds. I've never really been one to get emotional, to get upset by people's uh, trash talking, you know? But I just felt like he was being very disrespectful like, on his part, like him and his camp. They were saying that I was nervous about standing up with him and blah, blah, blah. But, I stood up with him a lot and took a lot of his big punches and they didn't, he didn't phase me. Defeat avenged for Will Brooks. I was supposed to wait for the winner of Chandler Alvarez, but uh, it's not that I want it, I, did, I earned it. In my contract, it says that the winner of the tournament gets the $100,000 award, whatever, and you get the title fight. Um, I earned it, this is my, this is my fight, you know? In May 17th, I'm, I'm gonna go out there, I'm gonna let people know, just because Chandler Alvarez, they look good when they're beating each other up. Like, like that's great, it's entertaining, but I'm still here and when we fight, like, there's gonna be a problem. Like, it's not gonna be one of these back and forth trilogy type of deals, like I'm a problem. People need to open their eyes and pay attention to everybody else in this organization. There's other talented guys that, that deserve their opportunities. The, the end game for me, honestly, man, is just to be one of the best, you know. And in order to be the best, I have to beat guys like Alvarez or Chandler's and things like that. So I just want to leave a legacy, you know, a, a positive legacy that, you know, I could show my kids and they could be proud of.